Hi, good morning. In this presentation or session, we are going to show you how to install Oracle WebLogic Server. There are three parts or three steps you do in order to install Oracle WebLogic Server. In part one, you install JDK or Java Development Kit, which will be used to run your WebLogic Server. The next part is you create, you install Oracle WebLogic Server. And third part is you configure or you create WebLogic domain and start your WebLogic server. So the first step is installation of Oracle JDK. So I'm going to a staging directory where I have JDK downloaded, which is stage Oracle JDK. So if you notice here, I have two JDK software. One is RPM file and second is star file. So you can either log in as root and run this RPM. When you run this RPM, it is going to install your JDK under user Java JDK 1.7.51. So this is JDK 1.7 update 51. So if you go inside bin directory, you will see I've already installed JDK using RPM and you see Java version 1.7 update 51. So one method is you install RPM or using RPM-IVH and the file name or RPM name. Other method is you simply untar the JDK 7 the way we are, I'm going to show you again here, which is, let's go back to JDK, Oracle stage JDK, and now untown tar minus xvf jdk update 9 linux 64 bit dot tar <clears throat> so it's unzipping the file now in under folder jdk 1.7 and if i so this is my jdk home or you've installed jdk if i go to the bin directory and then Java hyphen version, I see JDK 1.7 update 9. So to repeat, when you install Oracle WebLogic Server, first part you need to do is you need to install JDK. And there are two ways to install JDK. One is installing install using RPM. And second is you simply untar the tar file into the directory in which you would like to install your JDK server. I'm going to pick the first method, which is installation using RPM, which I've already done in the past using uh, and my, my JDK software location is user Java JDK. This is my Java home. And inside that, these are the files I have. If I go to bin and I can run the Java version to check what my J JDK server version is which is 1.7 update 51. In next uh, step, I'm going to show you how to install Oracle WebLogic Server. And in third step, we are going to create WebLogic Server domain.